तो अब हमारी अगली बारी आती है टाइम ऑफ फ्लाइट की टाइम टेकन इन कवरिंग दिस होल पैराबोलिक पाथ लेकिन वन ऑफ माय क्वेश्चन इज स्टिल अनआंसर्ड वाई डू वी हैव दिस पैराबोलिक पाथ इस बात का कोई प्रूफ है थियोरेटिकली अफकोर्स बिकॉज ऑफ वर्टिकल वर्टिकली डाउनवर्ड कॉन्स्टेंट एक्सेलरेशन इट इज कंपेलिंग दैट होल थिंग covering parabolic path but do we have any type of special mathematical derivation for that mathematical proof for that and that is very very important uh, mathematical thing mathematical result for your numerical purpose also to prove that parabolic uh, this projectile covers parabolic path and standard equation for uh, parabola is uh, from maths maths knowledge y square is equal to 4 ax or x square is equal to 4 ay have you heard ye this is not uh, studied in physics it is a maths language and you are going to study in 11th only इलेवेंथ के मैथ्स के सिलेबस में कोनिक सेक्शन इन अ नट शेल क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन का ग्राफ पैराबोला होता है आई एम एसोसिएटिंग दीज टू पॉइंट फर्स्ट एंड दिस इज यू यू मस्ट बी नोइंग अबाउट दिस पॉइंट सो वी आर ऑन सर्कल राइट नाउ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन का ग्राफ पैराबोला होता है यस सर दैट वी नो है ना दैट तो हेयर it means we need to reach quadratic equation and then finally we will say that uh it is covering parabolic path finally so that derivation also i'll be covering so have you covered that derivation uh, pro- proving that this this uh, projectile covers parabolic path now check my cursor from here to here particle is taking how much time this time is known as time of ascent and from maximum vertical height to again this uh, reaches here this is called time of descent yes sir okay and for any particular projectile for any projectile time of ascent should be equal to time of descent yes sir yes sir good time of ascent is equal to time of descent and ki is time of flight ke liye how do you derive ye total time chahiye time of ascent is equal to time of descent and total time of flight is 2 ta is equal to 2 td ye bhi ab aap logon ko pata hoga yes sir hai na theek hai good acha ab ab hum log kinematics ka equation uh, apply karne wale hain this is h this is r u theta u cos theta u sin theta आप लोगों को ये बेसिक नॉलेज तो होगी ही कि वो व्हाई दिस हॉरिजॉन्टल कंपोनेंट इज यू कॉस थीटा व्हाई नॉट यू साइन थीटा दीज थिंग्स आर वेरी बेसिक ऑल थ्री ऑफ यू मस्ट बी नोइंग यस सर यस सर दीज आर वेरी बेसिक हां फिर अब टाइम ऑफ फ्लाइट के लिए नाउ इफ वी कंसीडर मैक्सिमम वर्टिकल हाइट पोजीशन एंड वर्टिकल वेलोसिटी 
और कौन सा इक्वेशन अप्लाई करें v इज इक्वल टू यू माइनस जी टी कैन वी यूज v इज इक्वल टू यू माइनस v इज v y इज इक्वल टू यू वाई माइनस जी टी बट एट मैक्सिमम हाइट वॉट विल हैपन वी वाई विल बी जीरो एंड यू वाई विल बी यू साइन थीटा माइनस जी टी ए वाई वाई डिड आई यूज टी ए टाइम ऑफ एसेंट बिकॉज फ्रॉम हेयर टू हेयर पार्टिकल इज टेकिंग ओनली टाइम ऑफ एसेंट टू रीच तो फिर इससे टाइम ऑफ एसेंट हमें मिल गया फिर और ट्वाइस ऑफ दिस वुड बी टाइम ऑफ लाइफ Now, how to prove uh, maximum horizontal range R is equal to U X T? Who will tell me the reason? I have written directly. Sir, S is equal to U T plus half A T square, and A in horizontal direction is zero. Zero. Good. Uh, but uh, why A is zero? Because in horizontal direction there is no acceleration. Only gravity is acting in vertical direction. uh only gravity is but why it uh, it there is no acceleration no component of acceleration is in the x direction because there is constant velocity in horizontal direction ah uh, yes sir hai na oh, jab yes, jab sir. velocity constant hai to fir acceleration to hoega hi nahi there would be no acceleration so yes you are very true so uh, So that's why I have, I have I have done थोड़ा shortcut. So u cos theta and t is two u sin theta upon g slight trigonometry r is equal to u square sin two theta. लेकिन आप लोग since uh, all of you are uh, math student uh, कई neat के बच्चे होते हैं तो उनको ऐसी बातें uh, बड़ी डीपली समझानी पड़ती है सो यू आर जे स्टूडेंट यू स्क्वायर साइन टू थीटा अपॉन जी बट नाउ अब यहां से टू न्यू स्टोरीज फर्स्टली पहले से ही हमने इसे मैक्सिमम हॉरिजेंटल रेंज नाम दिया था नाउ मैक्सिमम ऑलरेडी इट इज मैक्सिमम नाउ स्टिल मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ आर यू स्क्वायर अपॉन जी वाई Why? Because any mathematics. Sine two theta. Ha ya yeah, yes 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 yes. लगता है आपने पकड़ लिया. Because uh, any mathematical expression which consists of sine function or cos function, हाँ, ये भी mathematical reason है. Uh, फिर I'll come I'll come to conceptual reason also. Uh, if any mathematical equation or uh, formula or result which consists of sine or cos function, so then sine and cos function has uh, maximum value of plus one and minimum value of minus one. All of you must be knowing. Yes, sir. So, so then that means, as a we log directly we have written it. So. It implies that sine two theta is equal to one, and that means trigonometry. May you must have read general solution also. Here we don't have to do general solution. Simply sine ninety degree. It implies that theta is equal to forty five degree. What do we mean by this? What do we mean by this? Range will be maximum if we project the object at 45 degree from horizontal. That means if uh, by making 45 degree angle, if you throw any object with horizontal, making an angle 45 degree, it will go farthest. It will cover farthest horizontal distance, right? And a practical example is javelin throw. Are you aware of uh, yeah, this uh, athletic um, this athletics का ही एक part होता है javelin throw वो बड़े heavy rod की तरह से दौड़ते हुए athlete लोग आते हैं और fake देते हैं and then that uh, that yes, is sir. that is uh, covered in Olympics also so this is uh, here it comes and uh, one more interesting point 
uh, are you aware of there are two set of complementary angles at which r remains the same so please repeat it um uh, tell me uh, are you aware of uh, uh, there are a pair of two angles pair of two angles at which horizontal range remains the same if you still didn't uh, get then i'll be helping you through this diagram suppose this corresponding angle of projection is 60 degree now another one matlab r1 is equal to r2 there are two pro projectiles in the same diagram both has covered same horizontal range but angles of projections are different to kya aisa always possible ho sakta hai ya tukke mein hua hai yahan pe possible or is there any well defined relation between these two angles yes there is well defined relation between these two angles if theta 1 plus theta 2 is equal to 90 degree that means complementary complementary set of angles were you aware of no, yes sir. good very good so uh, now you could understand my point yes sir because see in first situation projectile covered r1 uh, range by making uh, with the angle of projection 60 degree and in second situation again particle covered that yellow line ye yellow uh, uh, curve you see this was r2 and corresponding angle of projection is 30 degree clear hai na ye baat yes sir so in both the situation range should be same hai na acha fir ab to ye baat clear ho gayi yani ye aapko ye bhi clear tha ab now maximum vertical height or uh, projectile is also very interesting topic for so many good questions uh, ab hum log uh, next class mein uh, milenge to uh, i'll be collecting uh, maximum vertical height this is h as already we have discussed ye h ke liye h is u square sin square theta upon upon 2g lekin ye kaise derive hoga again let's use v square is equal to u square minus 2g h this equation vertical motion abhi jaise hi uh, this uh, uh, this will get disconnected you you uh, rejoin ha huh? okay sir so uh, vertical motion or uh, so at maximum height at this point again vy will be zero so vy will be zero uy square minus g h only uy square is equal to 2 g h and uy is u sin theta or u square sin square theta h now one uh, very interesting point at certain moment let me write final form this you can uh, treat as a theoretical problem 